Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Virgo, this is going to be your own reading today. Yes, it is. And I hope you guys are all well. And today, Virgo, we're doing a reading here. Uh, you know, this is your own, so you can, I mean, in a way, you can't really switch the energies, right? Like in my other readings that are love readings, but you still can, because this could be, what I mean, that this could be a story, your story, but of course it involves somebody else, right? We do have... Uh, and check your moon and your rising videos, uh, Virgo, right? I feel like you are creating movement in your life. You have some type of a new beginning with this hot air balloon, right? Maybe you are feeling stuck and now there is movement now. There's some type of situation here that is playful and pure. Like there's something pure about it. And I don't really know what that means. Purity can sometimes, because I'm not, I'm not you kind of, but purity can sometimes mean something... Uh, something that is starting at the beginning sometimes but this purity really means that you feel like something is really pure mm -hmm. maybe even innocent next to this playful possibly playful card you're being honest Virgo there's something that you are like kind of being honest about uh, what that means to me is that honesty is that you are facing something kind of right the second chakra is about uh, it's about creativity I feel like it's about love let's have a look here with the second chakra and this chick looks just like this chick I used to go to school with. Oh, very, very similar. Who was Indonesian and Dutch. Yeah, she was. Her mother was Indonesian and her father was... I feel like he was either Dutch or German, but... Uh, I, she said she was Indonesian-Dutch. This was in the fourth grade, right? I used to walk home with her and carry my guitar, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't heard much of her. I know she's still alive, but interesting. It looks just like her, right? And this is a, a girl that was popular. Mm -hmm. Remember when I saw her mother? Her mother was like completely Polynesian and so sweet. Like, uh, you know, like culture for me. It was, called, it was only in the fourth grade. It was culture. Okay. A true commitment is a responsibility. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. I beg your pardon here. <laughs> Let's look at the right. Uh, this is the wrong. Yeah, this is the wrong one. Let's see. Let's get the right book here. It's really important. I feel like it is. Uh, and here it is with the energy oracle. So we'll look at 36. Yeah, that is not... Let's see what we have here for you, Virgo. And this is intimacy and creativity. So I mentioned creativity. This is love. I said love. This is intimacy. There's somebody here that you are really intimate with that it is playful. Yeah. And there's some purity surrounding it, which is really beautiful, right? Because if it's playful and it's pure, I mean, it's really like, those are two different extremes that uh, blended are just fantastic, right? And the contract card is here. So uh, maybe you are kind of writing a contract here. Uh, and this is, you know, she's holding the scales, but she's blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are concerned about how much fairness you're going to get with somebody or justice you could also be like what's the word like you could be in a marriage or something like that right contract and you don't could be you could be in a marriage with a contract card family omg you really could be in a marriage right with that family card and this is somebody's family this is shirley jackson who was a really sweet lady and uh you know she was married to a jew so they were mistreating her it's so ignorant and ridiculous right and evil they were painting swastikas, swastikas on her house. And this is a lady who was married to a Jew, and she stayed home and took good care of her kids and, you know, took care of her husband, and they were, you know, screwing with her because they were bitches. Yeah, sorry, guys, but they were. Uh, it goes on today, right? Except today, everything is... Whatever they tell you is nice is evil, and whatever they say is evil is actually nice. This is what they are trying. Everything, the whole philosophy, they're so trying to confuse people. And they're doing it with the kids now, what they're teaching in the school. So let's see what else we have. The bees. So this is about togetherness, and it's about somebody who could be working with somebody or, or togetherness. It's really about somebody who wants to be together with somebody. It is. So let's get into this reading, you guys. And let's see what we have. For Virgo and their person, and uh, yeah, Virgo, go to the school board meetings and make sure they're not, you know, teaching evil. Our kids don't need to learn that stuff. So let's see what we have. Although it's, you know, they're, it's behind the guise of something nice. That's what it is. Can you believe this bullshit? So let's see what we have. Let's get into this reading right now. 
Virgo, and uh, let's see what we have. And right now, Virgo, your current energy is, it is the Five of Swords. Crossing you is the devil. Okay, Virgo, you're not in a good place right now. The Queen of Cups, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Four of Swords is in the recent past. You could have been reflecting on something uh, in the past, like really into, you know, uh, assessment, reflection, uh, focusing, and all those things, maybe even meditating. For me, you look like it's possible here that, I don't know, you look like you could be maybe moving out of a relationship, possibly. But you look like you're definitely moving forward with somebody who is like playful, and uh, maybe, you know, maybe this whole thing has been about honesty. Maybe you've had to be honest with yourself. Maybe there was lies in the past and now honesty is on the table. But whatever it is, I feel like there's a family in turmoil right here with this uh, Shirley, Shirley, Jackson Shirley Jackson card. Yeah, bless her heart. She looks like a nice lady, right? She has a little uh, castle in the back or the little, you know, kind of tiny castle here in the picture. In other words, home and family is everything to her. And But your house could be in this, her, her card or that card is about... A family in turmoil. The five of wands for you, this is turmoil or challenges. In your environment is the two of wands. And in your desire is the seven of swords. I just feel like you want to you want to escape from something, Virgo. I feel like you do. Mm -hmm. You want this movement, right? Where they're showing the ostrich. And he is, uh, you know, he has the island on his back. And he's walking away. Like, we're going to move this. We're, we're moving this. We're... We're making progress or we're moving away. You could be walking away from somebody too. This could be a walking away, the movement, and this and the hot air balloon could be a new beginning somewhere else. Could be. Because this can talk about both. These are kind of there's some conflicting cards in here. Like there is one relationship that maybe you want or that is happy and playful, and there is another one that you might be walking away from with this family card. Maybe you're in a relationship where, you know, your your wife or your husband is this kind of playful person and there's some turmoil going on. That could be happening, right? We have to see kind of the different aspects here. Currently, you have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords reversed. So you look like you're rebuilding a situation, Ten of Swords reversed. One that might have ended uh, badly. You could be in despair. Yeah, definitely. With the five. Yeah, you are. You're in some type of despair. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Devil. OMG. So let's see uh, what else you have. The Page of Pentacles. You look like you are in despair about rebuilding something. Can you believe this? Yeah, and it could be also that you are sabotaging something to rebuild something, something you value. Page of Pentacles. You want a new start somewhere, or you want something new. The devil is your crossing energy with the Ace of Pentacles. See, you want something new. You want a new opportunity that is solid here. That's going to like last. Something very enduring. You have both Pentacles here about something you want. So this is about something solid. So whatever you are trying to do, I feel like with this playful person here, where you think there could be purity, which is really beautiful. Purity is like, that's really beautiful here. It is. It means there's some type of a pure love. Wow. So, you know, whatever you are trying to do with this playful or pure love here, you want something new. You do. You have some fear and you're in bondage. Maybe because you're in a contract, right? That contract card is showing up. The Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups reverse. This looks like a breakup. You look like you want a new beginning somewhere else. and You want to rebuild. You look like you're in, uh, maybe somebody has sabotaged you, but you look like you're in despair. Or you feel defeated. You could actually be defeating somebody. This Five of Swords, I mean, he's a real ucker, right, with an F on the be beginning of it. This guy is a real ass, and maybe you are defeating somebody, or somebody's defeating you. Uh, there's a Queen of Cups involved, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and there's a relationship that is in the in the reverse or upside down with this Two of Cups reversed. It could be a breakup, like I said. In the recent past is the Four of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So you are reflecting, and what you came out with this reflection here is 
you could be maybe fearing here. You don't know what's going to happen if you're going to recover something here. I feel like this recovery is this Ten of Swords reversed. A rebuilding. You look like you're leaving a situation and you want to go to another one, but you don't know. It's like the unknown for you. You don't know if it's going to like fly. Yeah, fly, Robin, fly. Nine of seven of cups reversed is on your mind with the tower. God, Virgo, you're going through hard times here a little bit. Or maybe not hard times, but definitely like challenges. Yeah. Seven of Cups reverse the tower. This is what's on your mind. I feel like you're no longer confused. And you could be ending something. This is right. I feel like you're kind of in the tower, although you are no longer confused. In other words, like you're stressed out, but you're no longer confused. You could have made a, a major choice, a careful choice. To end something, Ace of Swords, to have a new beginning, victory. This can also be major clarity. Yeah, you have some major clarity here that you're ending something. Hangman, maybe with Pisces. Here's the Queen of Cups right here, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles, here you are. I feel like you should go see Pisces reading. Yeah. And Sagittarius, they look like they are connected. I was going to say collected. Collected, you guys. Yeah. Five of Wands in the near future. Will of Fortune. I just said Sagittarius. This could be Sagittarius right here. So, you're, you're, you know, you're going through a crisis in the near future. I feel like it's now. Looking at these cards. Ten of Swords. Five of Swords. Devil. Tower. I mean, this is your, this is your ongoing right now crises here. Mm-hmm. I feel like you, uh, in the near future, you. I feel like you're reaching a turning point here. This is a turning point for you. This whole reading is a turning point. It is. To make, to have movement. You are intimate. There's some intimacy here that you are trying to create. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Yeah, you are trying to create a new union with somebody. It's somebody from your past, it looks like. But you, and you are leaving something else, and uh, yeah, your family is in turmoil. All these cards are, are beautiful, most of them. You're in a family situation. That's why you have the family card and the contract card, and the six of cups reversed. See, you're returning to somebody from the from the past. You're challenged here about the Sagittarian. You're going through a turning point. Yeah, you are. This is crises, could be conflict, can be endings, two of pentacles. You're here you are, like concerned here if it's gonna be like a crisis to return to somebody. It doesn't always have to be that because your whole reading is a crisis or a turning point. It really is. But you could just feel challenged here. Like I wonder if this somebody from the past who I feel like is a Sagittarian is it's gonna be challenging. The three of wands, you're ending something right now. If you are not ending something, you're ending it like really soon. If it's not now. Three of Wands, Queen of Swords. This is your concern, whether or not you're going to manifest something. You're waiting for somebody here. I feel like you are in this energy too because you are turning your back on somebody as well. Nine of Swords. See, so you're worried. That's what I meant about challenges about this person from the past. In your environment is the Two of Swords, the Death card. Maybe you're not sure if you should end it with your person. It's, to me, I was just saying, it looks like there's an ending here. I feel like this could be somebody in your environment who feels like, I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do. The Two of Swords can be an energy where not just you don't only know what to decide, like a stalemate. It's like you could be in this energy like, I don't know what to do. Because this is troubling. Because I feel stuck. This is in your this is in your environment. I think this is this Queen of Cups who is right above you. Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, they think you're opening. They think you're ending it, and you're opening up new opportunities with somebody else. Mm hmm. And the Seven of Swords is what you want, right? Which is kind of strange with the Emperor. 
And we have the strength card. You want the courage to escape and get your things together and leave. I feel like you do. I feel like there is movement. I feel like this is going to happen, but you are like, God, you're really in a hard place right now. And we have the Four of Wands. This is a union and the Page of Swords reverse. So you already figured this out. You don't need any more information. What you need is your courage and the plan. But I feel like you just, you know, you probably already have your plan to leave somebody, but for sure. But I feel like you just need the courage here. You could be doing it without courage. And this is why this is saying you need courage. You could be doing it anyway. Because that's how it looks. It looks like you are uh, moving on movement, right? Uh, showing up with uh, Archangel Ariel, which is about intimacy. Togetherness. You have the bees. You want, really want to be together with somebody right? And that's why the Ace of Pentacles is here, Virgo. You're in love with somebody and you want something really solid with them. This is one of your exes, Six of Cups reversed. You're going back to an ex, Virgo. All right? Yeah. We're going to see about this person or an ex or somebody you know for sure, right? Uh, yeah, and I don't think you're going to leave this situation just for anybody you just met. So this is why I feel like this is an ex. We're going to go to the extended. We're going to look at the issues uh, at hand here. And how your person feels about you, what they want, what they're afraid of, their challenges, what's challenging them, and their outcome, they're all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me, Virgo, and uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe.